Good morning, beautiful tribe. Happy Magical Monday. If you're joining on the replay, hang tight with me. It won't be long. People will start logging in pretty quick. So while we're waiting, let's just begin to breathe a little more full and slow and deep into our bodies. I'm glad you're here on the replay. All right, good morning. I'm seeing you start to log in. Say hi in the comments if you would. All right. Hello, Tim. Hi, David. Hi, Tim. Good morning, everybody. As you're logging on, say hi in the comments. Hello, Kathy. Hi, Arnell. And while we're waiting, everybody, let's just begin to breathe a little more full and deep and, and, and intentionally into our bodies. And in whatever way makes sense to you, start to bring yourself even more fully present to the moment and to the call. Hi, Margaret. I'm going to wait till 7.02 this morning because I had to reboot and I didn't get to log in until one minute before we're supposed to start. So we're going to give people a little an extra minute or two to get here with us. And if you would, just check in with yourself, find two words that would describe what you're experiencing right this moment and pop them in the comments. Just help me take the pulse. Good morning, Joseph. <clears throat> Hi, Michael. I'm just going to wait till 7.02 and then we'll jump right in. All right, I'm seeing the two words start to arrive. What are your two words that would describe what your state is right this moment? Hello, James. Okay, it's 7.02. Thank you for those two words. I'll come back and look at the rest um, after we hang up. I'm going to take my eyes off of the comments right now and jump right in. But before I do, I want to invite everyone just to take your right hand, place it on your heart chakra. Take your left hand, place it on your right hand. Just feel your two jumper cables. Lots of energy moving through your own hands. I want you to take a big breath, and as you exhale, I invite you to just to close your eyes for a moment. And with your eyes closed, on demand, watch how capable you are. I want you to put your mental focus on your heart chakra. And I want you to experience the energy as it wants to present to you right now. There may be a physical sensation there may be a thought, there may be an experience that moves through your body that connects you with your own awareness of your heart chakra. With your eyes closed, I'm just going to say a little bit more as you continue to focus on your experience with your, your focus on the energy of your heart chakra. It is your upgraded command center. The energy in your chest cavity is now in control of all the communication that you are having with your higher self. It does not come from the mind that is embedded in the physical brain that's encased in the physical skull in our heads. There is an infinite, eternal, those are two huge words that are easy to misunderstand, but it's literal. In your chest cavity is an infinite, eternal accumulation of your wisdom, 
your experience and your knowledge as the fractal of non-physical source creator that is now in vibrational alignment with the energies accessible on planet earth and throughout the cosmos that can now generate impulses of information from right in that space beneath your hands sending thoughts into your mind that is housed in your physical brain that is encased in your skull so you can take that information in human form and utilize it in your life at this unprecedented moment on planet earth let that sink in for just about 10 seconds longer <laughs> now i'm going to invite you with your hands on your chest cavity creating not pressure just a little warm connection i want you to breathe out so you're ready to inhale everybody breathe out now i want you to breathe in and fill your lungs to capacity feel your hands expand on your chest now hold your breath hold your breath hold your breath while your focus is on that upgraded command center hold it it just creates a stimulus in that energy hold your breath for another five four three two let the breath fall out keep your eyes closed let your hands move from your chest to your thighs palms up and just let your body integrate that shift of activation of your own accumulated infinite eternal wisdom and knowledge that's accessible to you right now and now feel free to go ahead and open your eyes and now i'm going to talk fast <laughs> so it's really challenging and fun to figure out how i'm going to consolidate the flood of information i want to share with you every monday in a 15 minute group call so today I want to remind you that we have been told in the past from the elders and the masters of light that particularly we started in 2023, but it's really amplified in 2024. We're getting these little pockets of energy that they're sharing with us insights. I like to just call it um, insider information. We just get a little bit more awareness of what's going on energetically for the entire collective so we can let those impulses of thought from our upgraded command center to send thoughts into our conscious mind to help make sense of the information as it lands for you so <clears throat> one of the things they told us in these little pockets of energy they can be two days three days seven days nine days we're in a three-day little pocket okay started yesterday in this little pocket you've been being prepared already so i just want you to think back in the last seven days what has unfolded in your experience that in the month of june that we were told it was going to be like a google map higher perspective of an awareness of yourself in the last five days what have you come to understand maybe just a little bit more about yourself What's at play for you? What did you recognize? We always get to recognize things on a positive charge. Oh, wow, I'm much stronger in this area than I was giving myself credit for. Or we can receive information on a negative charge that doesn't feel quite so pleasant. Both are leading us in the same direction and we cannot replace the negative experiences for all positive. That's not how energy flows in, in the flow of the infinity sign it's both in the human experience that's how expansion happens so you, you might have had a thought like oh dang <clears throat> i gotta step it up here <laughs> i'm dropping the ball on myself <laughs> which is what happened to me this week <laughs> so think about that what was the what was the focus what was the subject matter what was the compartment in your life where that awareness showed up has something to do with this three-day window we're in so just keep your indiana jones hat on in this three-day pocket that we are in it is about um 
it's about preparing us for the second half of the year. We were told at the beginning of 2024 from the elders that they, they uh, themed this, nicknamed it the year of quantum leap. We were told second half of the year, get ready team. Things are going to get a little bit more tumultuous. We've been receiving that message, <clears throat> excuse me, um, since 2020, preparing us for this 2024. Remember those of you who have been working with me for a while, we got the analogy two years ago of the um, mud runner race. I want to review that really quick. It's, it's important in this three-day pocket of energy. The analogy we're, we were given from the elders in a way our brain can make sense of it was, hey, think about a bunch of friends saying, hey, I know, you know that mud runner race thing that's been popular on planet Earth for a little while? Let's all um, get together and let's go one Saturday to the mud runner race and see what we can do. We'll get wet, we'll get muddy, we'll challenge ourselves, we'll be together, we'll laugh, we'll have fun. We get together on Friday night. Maybe we'll have a sleepover. We'll all carb load with lots of pasta and we'll carpool over on Saturday morning. And it's everybody's excited and everybody's in agreement. And you drive over and you're not going to park the car and then walk up to the course and go, oh shit, what are those obstacles doing? They're on the mud runner race, right? And the analogy they gave us was as souls, non physical beings, when a clarion call was put out to non-physical beings and the invitation was who's ready to go to earth at that unprecedented time for humanity's awakening and ascension and millions of souls raised their hands and only a handful of those million which is still billions of people <laughs> were qualified to take incarnation now and be here that's you and that was our soul saying, okay, who's ready to take incarnation again and go to planet Earth when the mud runner race is going to be super challenging and super exciting and super necessary to shift the way humans have been living on the frequency of fear and we can transition them over to the higher frequency that's absent of fear, absent of judgment, and absent of any knowledge or belief that they are not source. Who's ready, right? So here we are in the incarnation and we've been being prepared. So it's going to get a little tumultuous. The challenges are going to get a little more exciting and a little more overwhelming. We are here now and our souls are not saying, what are those obstacles doing here? Our minds might be going, holy shit, this is a lot, <laughs> right? But our soul in, in, in the accumulated inf infinite eternal wisdom is ready to send impulses of thought into our minds in this human incarnation to continue to move us forward in a way that they told us we would surprise and amaze ourselves at what we call into our experience and how we navigate these challenges. And I'm bringing that back into your awareness in this three day pocket because today is the first day of the second half of the year. And we were told that the challenges are gonna get a little more intense, particularly after we make it through this, the, the first half of the year, we'll start to see those obstacles kind of appearing on, on our obstacle course. And then the last quarter of the year, we're going to be navigating them. And that's going to take us into 2025. And we haven't even talked about that yet. <laughs> that's important today because in the United States, we had the first presidential election that was the shit show that it was. And it polarized everybody in their strong opinions and their fear. And that's just the United States. There's shit going on in the UK right now that people in the United States don't know anything about. There's stuff going on in other countries that people in the US don't know anything about. Every country is being rattled with their particular circumstances because all the souls, all of us that said, let's do the mud runner race, are being activated for the next level. That's you right now. So today, I want to encourage you to be very aware of what's moving through you that looks like courage. 
okay? Absent of fear energy on the higher frequency shows up in our language in, in courage, in excitement, in amazement. And you're calling things into your experience that you're already having flickers of, wow, look at me. I'm doing shit that I never thought I'd be doing. Keep your focus there and be prepared for other things to show up into your life that are going to activate an opportunity for choice. This is the most important part of today's call. Do not get caught in the trap of thinking we're moving to some kind of utopia where our spirituality is gonna make us so freaking amazing we're not gonna have challenges. That's not the game we're playing right now. So when obstacles show up and our default is, oh, dang, what's wrong with me? <laughs> That's our default. Be on the lookout with your Indiana Jones hat, the, our metaphor for curiosity, because that's a high vibe uh, uh, frequency, emotional um, place to bring ourselves. Curiosity is turning the dial to higher levels. So as an obstacle shows up and you stay in curiosity, allow the question to be immediately, what's possible for me right here, right now? Because this three-day pocket that we're in wants to bring an awareness, an amplified awareness of your ability to stay there and receive the answer. Did you get that? <laughs> when opportunity presents itself over the next three days and you feel a twinge to default to fear, let the fear be your higher self tapping you on the shoulder and say, here it is, here it is. Here's the opportunity to choose. What do you got to choose? Just turn the dial to curiosity. That's the only choice you got to make. That'll be a quick shift and then stay in curiosity and watch what impulses of thought show up in your mind to navigate whatever circumstances showed up that brought you to the twinge in the direction of defaulting to fear. That's, it's, it's prep. The first three days of the second half of the year, prep. Pay attention. Opportunity is gonna come for me to choose. Got it, thanks for the insider information. Opportunity is going to come for me to choose a conscious choice when my twinge wants to take me toward defaulting to fear. That's all you got to be aware of over the next three days. What's possible for me right now? I don't know, but I'm going to stay in curiosity and be on the lookout for what people, places, and things I'm calling into my experience and what thoughts are coming into my mind that are moving me towards solutions that maybe I would have never thought of on my own because I'm accessing this eternal accumulated uh, source, wisdom, knowledge that's unique to me for right now. That's where I'm going to leave you today, beautiful souls. I'm really looking forward to this month's energy update on Saturday. I hope you're going to be there live with me. Until then, be well and enjoy your day. Bye for now.